Hey, this is Weber Renee 7. Welcome to my channel. The word will be read from Philippians, the fourth chapter and the 13th verse. It reads, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And you know you can too. I tell you, there's no better way than to get your strength from God, than to get it from man-made things, temporary things, things that are not permanent, things that don't have any power. God can give you strength. And that strength is like no other. Y'all, I have reached my 600 subscribers. Yes, now I have 600. I am so grateful. I could not do it without God. Because right now, y'all, I am tired. And when I talk about strength, yes, God has given me the strength to do this because I am ready to go to bed. So I wanted to get my video out. And I am grateful for the opportunity to do so. I thank each and every one for subscribing that have already done it. I appreciate you from the time you started to now. And I hope that I continue to bring you good content that will keep you coming back for more. Okay, y'all, I have emptied, but let me tell y'all this first. I need y'all who have not already done it. Subscribe to my channel like my content, and I need that encouragement to let me know I'm doing something right. Leave a comment if you don't do anything, but hit that emoji and say, hey, Reba Renee. Now, I would like for you to share it as well, because somebody else may need to hear what I have to say. You never know. Okay, y'all, I have some items here that I want to show y'all that are my empties from the month of October. And here they go. But I keep saying that and I still didn't show y'all what I have on for today. Let me show y'all. And I was hoping that this would have been in my empties, but it's not. It's close, but it's not. This is Sunrise Woods because I would like to get me some more during the semi annual sale. Y'all, the notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, cozy cashmere. Yes, cozy. This is the time, y'all, because the weather is cold outside. We got that cold temperature in early today. And uh, it's going to be that way, I think, for the rest of the week. So, y'all, make sure. I don't know. You might hear it. I have my uh, little fan um, heater over here that is uh activated but yes these are my fall notes that i'm wearing today i didn't combine them with anything i just have these on because y'all i need to use it up i have on for my lips my lip smackers i was hoping to i'm hoping to be able to finish it before the year's out y'all i'll just say that and that is in the flavor of cotton candy and this is how it looks. Yes. I know y'all don't want to see all of that up close and personal. Okay. And here we go, y'all. This is the first thing that I have that I want to show y'all. And this is by Victoria's Secret. This is Wicked Dreamer. The notes are lychee. And you can say lychee. Glow. Satin musk. Twist of. I don't care too much. To, mm, I don't know if that's in a positive way or what. What? Uh -huh. But lychee is uh, from Asia. And Americans, I guess, whoever know about the fruit, call it alligator strawberry. And that's what it looked like to me when I saw the picture of it. An alligator. I'm, I'm sorry. Not an alligator. Strawberries. Now, y'all going to get my blue and bleeps and whatever because I'm trying to do a video without doing a whole lot of editing. 
So y'all please bear with me. I thank you for that. And lychee is a good source of fiber. It is a fruit from Asia. Now this right here, to me, smells good. It is sweet and fruity. If you want something sweet and fruity, you might want to try. I don't care for the name, but hey. And I got to find somewhere to put my stuff and I'm probably just going to throw it on the floor. Y'all, I was supposed to, this is going to be used up by the night. So I'm just going to go ahead and show it. This is my uh, pocket bag and this is salted cucumber. This is going to be used up tonight and I'm going to replace it with my frosted coconut snowball. And I got this from semi-annual and I forgot how much it costs, but you know, I ain't pay full price y'all. I don't usually try to do that. So yes, they had them on sale. Now y'all remember Pinky, <laughs> let me just cover her up <laughs> because you know, she had to be groomed and yeah, so she is so cute. I don't know, make some clothes for her so that she can stay on there. But I just didn't care for that fur, y'all. After I got it, it was too much. And what I have is strawberry kiwi that I am getting rid of. Tonight is going in the trash because trash day is tomorrow, y'all. Sorry if it's blurred. But yes, I've been using my pocket bags. I am trying to use them homeboys up. And this is um, antibacterial hand spray with essential oils. This is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, uh, the notes. Y'all y'all know I had sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And I do apologize, but some of these things I'm not going to go over the notes with because if I don't, uh, if I do that, it's going to be too long. So, yeah, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And I do enjoy this. And I might just keep this to recycle in and put my alcohol in and just spray away, y'all. Spray away. Um, I have this. This is something that I use. This is Freeman. Uh, we have a um, store near us that is like a liquidation store. And they have a whole lot of things that we get from there. And very reasonable to be priced. And this is smoothing scrub mask. And it was from, I think, Dollar General. But, you know, they get different items or products from different stores. And they sell them at a lower price. So this is a mask. And it was my first time using it, like a scrub mask. Like, yeah, a scrub mask. And I don't know if you can see. Oops! <laughs> Y'all, this is what it looked like. That don't look pretty at all. Oh, let me see if I can get something to wipe this off. Yeah. But yeah, this is, that's what it looked like, y'all. That's what it looked like. Yeah. And uh, it wouldn't be nothing that I probably would buy again. I don't usually put a scrub on my face. But yeah, it was different. I don't know. I might try it again. I have to be careful because my skin is sensitive um yeah menopause is nothing to play with so i gotta be careful with what i put on my face this is vivid emerald this is a bath and body works candle and this is how it burn y'all this homeboy i think this is one in a long time can you see hopefully you can see where it burned to this is one of the best burns i've had i don't know if it's yet or in a while to see a Bath and Body Works candle burn that low. I mean, it's really low, y'all. And I am so grateful to have used it. I got this from the semi annual sale in this gorgeous. And uh, yeah, if you want to, you can check out the notes, but it smells good. I don't know how to rate candles yet. I don't know if I'd go one through five or one through 10, how to rate it, but I would give it a seven or and a half or eight because i could smell this it was in my bathroom and it went out of the bathroom area so a eight seven to a eight i'll say 
This is something I'm going to tell y'all about later. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. Here is one of these um, things I got from Dollar Tree. I use these to um, get rid of odor um, in the bathroom. It's supposed to be like an odor eliminator. And this is Mediterranean Sage Room Mist. And this is by um, Aramar, if I'm not mistakenly pronouncing it wrong. But yes, and I do apologize, y'all. I don't know why it is not focusing. But yeah, I have a couple of them. And yes, they seem to work. And I do like it. And it's hard to find. So if you find it, you might want to try it. Something nice to take with you out when you're out and about or just to use in the comfort of your home. This is um, Multivites, and this is Multivitamins by Vitafusion, and they do have sugar-free as well, because I'm like, why would I want something that has sugar in it? I don't need that. Give me something that is sugar-free, and I also had the women's. I don't know if the women's was sugar-free. Uh, they have different versions of their vitamins, and I do apologize, y'all, for the glare. They do have different versions for their vitamins, and uh, so this one is like, I guess, for anybody to use, 260, and yes, um, I finally finished it. All gone. Yes. Now I have another one of these. This is Therabreath. This is the professional formula, Dennis formulated whitening, um, fresh breath oral rinse. This is something that um, I had um, been using this brand and I got this from the um, store that I said is near me, the liquidation store at a reasonable price, honey. I did not pay as much as I did um, as you would in a store. And yes, I do like it. This is, I, I think this might be the first one that I tried in this uh, formula. But yes, this is nice. Okay, I got me some nuts. And I don't care for salt to be on my nuts. If I want to eat healthy, why would I add salt to it? Salt blows you up, fills you up with unwanted uh, fluids. And it's just not good for you, a whole lot of salt. So I get unsalted brand, and this is whole cashews. And I got this from Sam's Club. And yes, it is gone. And yeah, I do like these. And that's something I get for like when I want a snack because I don't want to um, be eating heavy. Um, when I'm eating at night, you know, I'm trying to watch my weight, y'all. Just I'm gaining weight. <laughs> I need some help. So this is Enwash Aroma Booster and Odor Eliminator, which I got from Dollar Tree, which I don't see anymore. And I was glad for the opportunity to have picked myself up some because I don't see it. And this was in the color yellow. And yeah, $1.25. And I wish I knew about them when they were a dollar, but I didn't. So, And they smell good. And I do use them in my clothes. Y'all remember this? This is Eucalyptus Spear Plus Spearmint Sugar Body Scrub by Aromatherapy Bath and Body Works. And it was lovely. I mean, my skin really enjoyed this. No breakouts, y'all, for some months. From someone who has eczema, who deals with eczema. I haven't had any breakouts. I am not trying to claim a breakout. But I am grateful that I did not get a breakout from that. This is, um, yeah, I would buy it again if they had some more. This is Glade, and I'm sorry, y'all. I wasn't telling y'all. I think everything that I showed y'all, I would repurchase again. Yep, except that other one, that uh, facial scrub. I don't know about that one. Now, this is Hawaiian Breeze Glade Automatic Spray Refill. Girl, let me tell you, honey. It took me a good minute to use this thing. It says 60 days. I don't know what, how many sprays it would give. I will have to go in here and really look. But this thing took me a good minute to use. And I'm glad I finished it because I want to use up my thing. So 
Then my annual sale is around the corner. Yes. And that was from the liquidation store, and I didn't pay a lot for that. This is my soap that I use. Y'all seen this before. If y'all seen any of my use it up or my um, empties videos, yes, this is a nice bar, and you cannot find this inside the soap area in which I got this from Walmart. You can't find it there. They don't usually have it there. It's in the beauty area by Eucerin, Cetaphil, Cetaphil, whichever way you pronounce it, y'all. Um, those um, body creams, yes. And it's not in the lotion area. It's in the beauty area. Yes. And it comes with a nice uh, cover of the soap to where it doesn't, um, you know, it's not exposed for every hand to be on. I finally finished this. I have um, electric lighters now. And I got that from my liquidation store. Buggy Buster is the name, y'all. Y'all ever in the Douglasville area in Georgia? That is where you can find that store. And they have some nice things. It just depends on what you're interested in. This is what I got from Dollar Tree. Yes, and my um, electric lighters. When I finish these, I'm not trying to buy any more for a while because I have several electric lighters. And um, if they continue to work, I probably won't purchase any more of these. And I'm glad for the opportunity to have tried them. Been using them for years, y'all. But now, <laughs> it's probably going to be a minute before I buy some. I think this is it in this bag. Look what I did, y'all. Pink Berry Cloud. This is finite. This is gone. And y'all see how it's looking. It was turning, y'all. So I had to get it gone. It had to be gone. And I did it, y'all. Woo! I'm so happy because something else is going to come in if I find something I like. Look. And here's a note for the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It is heirloom pumpkin, autumn cinnamon, ginger snap, with vanilla. Mm hmm. I used it up, y'all. It is gone. Gone. Delicious fragrance. Delicious. And I hope to get some during the semi-annual sale. Some more sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And I did enjoy this packaging. I thought it was really cute. Okay, y'all. This is something I got from a hair show. Talia Wajid Hair Show in Georgia. She usually has a show every year and a uh, hair show, natural hair show. And um, it's not just for natural hair, but uh, I guess it's based on natural hair or just hair products. And this is the African Pride Black Caster Miracle. I had added this to my hair. I think I was doing a condition, a conditioning, and I just added this oil to the conditioner. Um, and this is Hair and Scalp Black Caster Miracle Hair. Oh, let me tell y'all. This is <laughs> Hair and Scalp Sealing Oil. Yes. And I had it for a couple of years, and I'm glad I was finally able to use it and get it out of my collection. This is Apple Blossom and Jasmine. Y'all, let me tell you. This, this was good. I could smell this. I had stopped buying a whole lot of um, all these candles because they did not give a good throw. And some of them I took back because I'm not trying to give my money away and the product did not perform. Yes. You see that? This is, this, this burned well. This thing smelled it has some throw to it. I don't know. What would we give that? A one out of five? A four or a three? A four? That um, apple blossom and jasmine. That. Yeah. I, uh uh. Oh, a five or a six? It threw, it threw really good. I told him one out of five, but he went, he surpassed it. But. <laughs> Which one? 
four. Yeah, about a four, three and a half, four. This to me burns very well. Yes, I would recommend y'all check that out. The next one is Orchard Apple. Now, y'all, this is probably be one I would get again. This this um Tuscany candle, this orchard apple, this performed very well. I got this from Kroger. They sell their candles there. Anybody have a Kroger near you or a, a sister store you know about, may know about these candles. They were on sale, and that's why I picked them up. But uh yeah, these are this, I would recommend this fragrance of the um tuscany candles because and i would tell you if you have never seen a candle burn down like these tuscany candles do y'all see that look at that look at that how many candles y'all see that burn like that if it is let me know if you know of any let me know because this awesome burns awesome burns beautiful look look how low that is yes and i recommend those candles because they burn really well now this is mango tangerine scented candle y'all from trader joe yes and i don't think i'm gonna be buying i don't know if i'm gonna keep buying these candles because really you don't have no like a, you don't have like a base like these candles if you see the thickness of the glass you don't really have to put anything under them because the glass is thick and it's giving you added protection um from your um wherever you lay it on base you lay it on it won't hopefully uh mess it up but these they suggest you put something on them because they're tin cans and there's nothing there to keep the heat from destroying your property so i mean if you have a candle holder that would be great for these but um i don't know if i want to keep buying them it was okay but i know the pink one the uh brazil nut i really like that one and i can smell that it does have a nice throw some say they smell like um Floor, it has a floral scent. It doesn't really have that um, Brazil nut scent, but it, it got a throw. This is Forever Red, y'all. I used it up. I was so proud of myself to have used up these lotions, y'all. You may, if my skin dry, there's a problem. But I mean, and then the scrubs, you need the scrubs in order for the scrub that stuff off your skin because I mean, one time. Y'all, I took a shower and I got out that tub and started drying down. And I'm like, what is this rolling off my skin? I had to go and do a repeat. Because my skin had not been exfoliated. I still had stuff on me. I'm like, oh, to the no. I got back in that shower and had to scrub. I had to scrub. And yes this was lovely i'm trying to use up these things i am so glad that i i cleaned house yes that's gone too y'all <laughs> look at that little thing in the corner it's gonna stay there honey because uh <laughs> i'm done next thing i got is my ultra bright toothbrush toothpaste my husband and I, um, when we first got married, this is what I started using when we um, tied the knot. Yeah, after we started, <laughs> after marriage, this is the toothpaste that I have been using on and off now. But uh, we try to get a sale. We try to get a sale, y'all. But yes, for a good minute, we were using Ultra Bright because that's what my husband would use. So, you know, I don't have to go over there and take over everything. You know, I let him have some room for the you know get some yeah. <laughs> get some things that he wants and yeah it was good it was reasonably priced and i had um what is this baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste so this is what we 
um, would buy. So we went back and uh, revisited it. Okay. This is a brush I got from Dollar Tree. And there's some stuff still in it, y'all. Excuse me. Let me, oh, do I turn it this way? This is better, I guess. This, I ain't going to put it up too close, y'all. Um, uh -uh. This is a brush that I'm letting go. I had wanted to use it. You see my color purple. I'll turn it this way. This is my color purple just for like detangling. I thought I was going to get this and be able to do something with it. But it just keeps coming off. And yeah, I'm done. Dollar Tree special. This is Secret. I had finished it. And do I like it? It's okay. I guess it kept me, you know, sure. Kept me uh, dry. But you see all of that around there and stuff? That is probably why I probably might not buy it again unless that's all I can get. Anybody don't know, I don't like solids because they seem harder to get off when taking a shower. Seems like this. The roll-ons will come off easier. So I'm using Band right now, and I do like that because it seems like it's controlled as it's coming out. It is not just, you know, just a whole lot at one time. So, yeah, if I don't have to use it, like if it's not, if that's the only one, maybe I'll get it. But, yeah, it too much to me is coming out at one time. Alcohol. Yes. I was able to finish it. Alcohol. I use these to refill because when I go to the grocery store, y'all, I like to um, make sure that I have something to clean the baskets, to disinfect. Okay. I have autumn woods. This is a candle. I really like the packaging. I think it is really cute. And um, yeah, I'm not going to go over the notes, y'all. It's over 30 minutes. This is Autumn Woods. This is a one wick candle. And it burned to here. To here. And I think that's not bad, but I feel like it should have burned down some more. It smells. I recommend Autumn Woods if y'all looking for candles for Candle Day. If they have Autumn Woods, if they didn't change the formula or if they changed it and improved it, I recommend it. This is a uh, Fermina Attractant. This is a fragrance that I purchased from what's that place? Timu. Yes, this is a fragrance that I purchased from Timu. And if you go and you look for this, if you Look on the website. They have a, a brown bottle, sort of like this. You will see the brown bottle. Just scroll across, and it will show you the rest of the fragrances. Because if you try to look for this by itself and looking for this, you will not find it, most likely, because I've done that. You cannot find it like that. When you see that brown, tan-like um, fragrance, then you just scroll across and it should show you different fragrance notes and uh, for different fragrances of this brand. It's a floral fragrance, but it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. It's something in it, y'all, that is an alluring fragrance note. And uh, you can see the notes up here. It smells good together to me. This is, okay, Champagne Apple and Honey. Was able to finish this. This is how it's looking in there. And of course, I have my, whoo, there you go, y'all. And sometimes you have to cut it twice in order for to, um, get your hand in there without, you know, cutting in between here. So that's why I cut it down again so I can get it out here and then get it out here. But this, um, I finally finished it. I had finally bought myself the body mist, but now I'm done with the moisturizer. And I think I have a little 
two left of the champagne apple honey so that's your homie and i shouldn't have to uh buy another lotion of that so i'm glad about that y'all yeah and just the other piece for the forever red yeah i usually have to cut them twice so that i won't cut myself now this is i don't remember what this was y'all i be trying i be trying to uh Keep the tags but somehow they don't <laughs> i don't know where they are but i finished yes that's one and i thought i had enough okay here you go I don't know if the strawberry pound cake, I think, y'all. And I finished that one. This is a Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense. I was able to finish this. It is a roller ball. So, yes. And I think that's it. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, one more thing. One more thing, y'all. I have a product from, I think this was from the Talia Wajid hair show. But anyway, I have a sample. And this is Rich Pure Luxury Intense Moisture Conditioner. It wasn't enough for my hair, but I did use it. Let me see if I can get it. I did use it. I don't know if anybody has ever heard of it. I don't remember hearing anything about it. But this was a sample that I had. And I am happy to have finally used it because it's been on my counter, on my tray for a good minute. And it's from any hair type and texture. And it says from curly to straight and back. So, yeah. So I'm glad to have used that. And you just take it and they show you how to um, open it. You just take it and crack it and then just push out what you need. And it's just a, like a white conditioner if you can see some of the residue on it. This is the detergent that, uh, dish detergent that my husband and I have decided to um, be purchasing. Now, we normally purchase Dawn. That is our favorite dish detergent. But because of COVID stopping by and shifting things, they had stopped having sales on Dawn. And Dawn was very um, much expensive. So they started having sales. Kroger had started having sales on Palmolive. And that is what we've been picking up. But now recently, I think they had a sale on Dawn. So we was able to buy some more. But this is what we hey i'm not trying to go broke on washing my dishes and this is sort of similar to dawn or i'll say supposed to be like their formula the ultra strength instantly um cuts through grease um formula and they have different formulas so this is something i want to share with y'all this is something that um was recommended to us by our dentist was for us to get a water pick. Now, I had did a demonstration. Well, I say I tested out, you know, like how good is a water pick? Do I necessarily need one? So I had brushed my teeth. I had flossed with a regular pick, um, I mean, regular flosser. And um, then I went back and used the water pick. Honey. That water pick pulled out or uh, cleaned out stuff I didn't know that was still up in there. Even after I had flossed, there was debris still up in my gums, teeth, or whatever. Wherever it was, it came out. And this is the water pick that my husband and I had purchased. This is not the first one, but I don't ever want to buy another one like this. The way that this is made where the water sits in 
it comes all the way up here. I had taken it loose, tried to clean it because my husband's on mold up in here. I am not trying to uh, make things worse, but better. Because of that, let's see if I can, I can't get it off right now. But anyway, because it is up so high and everything, I didn't see it. And then it's tinted. The glass is uh, plastic is tinted. So I couldn't see the mold up in there good. So I would advise you if you can get something clear, get a uh, clear um, tank and make sure that it is not up high like this, but like this. We purchased this from Timo. And the reason why I like this is because it's the base is here where the tank is where the water is held you can take this off and I'm, I'm not gonna take it off you can screw this off and clean it better and then let it open up and clean i mean dry and they suggest that you let all the water out when you finish um you know flossing with the water pick and then um you know take it out and then clean it and then let it sit out to dry and they say some somewhere i saw on youtube um i was trying to do a search on how i you know the best way for me to clean it they suggested to not have it close to the sink but yes find something like this the way you can um detach it and be able to clean it in uh, the proper way so that you will not have mold or anything lingering around and get a clear um base a clear um tank so that you can see what is going on in there thank you all so much for um checking me out seeing what i had to show y'all that i used up and uh yeah i don't know i might try to do some videos more videos this month for the well for this for the month of november and december i will see I'll try to get me some videos in and hopefully they won't be as long as this one. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking out your time to watch my videos. I truly appreciate each and every one of you for using your valuable time to support me. Thank you all for those who have subscribed and helped me to reach my 600th subscriber. I'm just grateful, y'all. I am grateful. I thank God for blessing me to have you in my life. Bye.